Oh no, wet carpet. Well, it's all right here in front of the air conditioner. And most times what this is, is a clogged condensation drain line from the AC. It's pretty hot these days. So let's open this up and take a look. And where the leak is at, we'll have different options. Just kind of wanted to go through a bunch of different stuff today on condensation leaks. So let's take a look here. Let me open the service panel door here. So it's got this little key latch that we need to, in order to open the service panel. I usually just use my screwdriver. Turn it. That lets us remove the deal. Oh yeah. This one's actually at the pan. You can see the how full the pan is full of water and it's overflowing. You see some setups out there where you've got a pan like this fills with water and if it overflows there's an exterior pan that has a condensate float in it, a float switch. So if the pan overflows then the, it'll trip the float switch until you can clean it up. My particular setup does not have it. Here's the condensate drain. What it has is a vent in the condensate drain. So the entire drain line goes out back. There's a trap right behind here. Right before the, the vent here. And so what we can do is, is vacuum from the vent or vacuum from outside. If it water was overflowing right here, we'd actually want to vacuum from outside. Uh, my particular setup j drains into a gravel well because our clog is right here at the drain. It's either at the drain or it's in the it's in the uh, trap there, most likely in the trap. I'll be I should be able to unplug it here uh, and not necessarily need to unplug it outside. If I, if I did need to unplug it outside. What I do is hook up my wet dry vacuum back there, come over here and seal this side while I'm pulling the water out with the wet dry vacuum and that way it pulls all the way to the drain here. Uh, so anyway, get this going, check it out here. Um, I regularly change air filters, also I'll be changing the air filter today uh, and also add condensate pan tablets to the drain so it doesn't form mold and fungus and all that funky stuff so that it's not just water so when we have a leak like this it's not just water it's actually a treated treated water with anti-mold anti-fungal anti-coagulant and it also keeps odors away all that good stuff anyway going to be vacuuming this out right here these drains work via gravity, just like normal drains. So it drains to a well out back where the level is lower than it is here uh, at the drain pan and as well as at the vent. So as long as it's lower there, it's draining to there. And sometimes if I hook up my wet dry vacuum from here, I may need to go and, and plug the, the uh, you know, put a cover. I usually use when I have to cover either these vents or the outside cover. I've got these little tags that are very laminated material and so I'll just fold that and and uh, put that over the hole and that makes a really good seal. If you have a cap or something like that you know you can use that but I, I like to use these. Um, anyway get this going. Got my nice little stinger wet dry vacuum. This thing tool of champions right here little stinger wet dry vacuum converts to a blower so it's, it's really useful for situations like these like these so we're going to be hooking up my suction hose right here and the nice thing about this is it just pretty much slips right over the top I can use my hand to seal the rest of it off so here's to the vacuum and I've actually got a plug usually right here at the air handler, so makes it nice and convenient for getting this done. 
plug in there and we're ready to vacuum and we'll see if it pulls it from the pan or not so ideally it's going to pull it from right there and we'll know that we're clear so here goes <laughs> So there's definitely a lot of sludge in there. And I also just want to ensure that the other side is, is clear. So I can either vacuum it from out back or what I can do is, is plug this side. So I'm just going to tear off a piece of this laminated deal that I showed you earlier. Like so. What I'm going to do is insert it and, and just block the condensate drain line right here, block the hole and then run the vacuum and pull water from outside. A little while just to ensure that everything was clear there and then now whatever I can I'll vacuum from the pan although this is a slant coil so there's not really much room to get in there but I'd like to vacuum out some of that sludge um, problem is you can see some rust uh, in the pan we want to avoid putting any kind of pressure on that pan we just want to vacuum it but without pushing the vacuum because we don't want to create a leak or you know, put a hole in the pan, uh, and it, it is it is older. It's it's probably solid and it's probably fine, but again, no reason to cause a situation. Okay, so I'm just going to vacuum down in there. Pull my vacuum hose up here. Let's see if we can get any of that sludge. And there's again, not not that much that I can reach, but. Slip that down there and vacuum it up. Good that way. Anyway, so we're all clear now. Now it's just going to be a little follow-up and preventative maintenance here, changing the air filter. This particular air filter is a 16 by 20 by 1. So just gonna just slides out of the side here. This again a slant coil <coughs> filter. Just the preventative maintenance side. And coils a, a tiny bit dirty, but not too bad. Not the worst I've seen. Changing the filters regularly is really the key. Keeping that all working good and running good. Let's slip our new filter in. Just gotta make sure the, the arrows that are on the filter are pointing the correct way. The arrow is pointing in to where the air goes through. Through the filter, through the coil. All right, I'm going to use heat from the unit. Okay, now what I have is these condensate pan tablets. 
And these are really good in that they have, again, an anti-mold, anti-fungal, uh, helps uh, minimize odors, get rid of smells uh, and irritants and stuff that can cause all kinds of troubles, especially people that are sensitive as have asthma or any kind of a situation like that. Anyway, calls for at least two tablets for three tons. These are, this is a two ton system. Um, what I'm going to do is try to position the tablets where they're going to be dripped condensate on. Probably some of the sludge that we saw in there might have been from old tablets. Anyway, I'm going to put two in the front, back here, bloop, there we go. And then I'll put two in the back also, if possible. This uh, one doesn't seem like there's really any room to get to in the back, so I'm just going to have to put them in the front again. I can try to push one down a little further, but again, I want to avoid putting any kind of pressure on that pan. It is solid, but still just didn't want to make things worse. Anyway, slip the tablets up there and the condensate will drip across them. This is better than bleach. Bleach actually can cause some people some irritants and uh, so this, this stuff is a little bit milder than that but it also does the, the trick of what it's supposed to do and some added functions. The anticoagulant keeps dirt from clumping together so really help keep everything going here. So we're all set to go here. Just going to give one final little vacuum. Pull the rest of the water through there. Make sure all the sludge is gone. Set there. Sting did his job. Let's take a look at this water here. Let's see uh, the sludge. Ugh. Yeah, yummy, delicious stuff. Okay. So now it's just a little bit of dealing with the carpet. So let's get that going. Put my lid back on and my air condition is ready to roll again. Ready to keep things nice and chilly and keep everybody breathing easier with the new filter and the, the uh, tablets to keep everything nice and comfy and not stinky. Okay. And again, if we did have a leak in the future, the nice thing of putting those tablets in there is that the water won't just be water, it'll be a treated water. It's kind of like pouring a cleaning chemical on stuff. Okay. So good to go there. One AC, ready to roll. One other thing I should tell you is some units uh, will have two drains, a primary and a secondary drain, especially uh, you know, units on the second floor or if you have a unit where a unit's in, a, in uh, the attic of a house, a lot of times you have a primary and a secondary drain. Some out there might even have three drains, so just something to be aware of. You might need to clear them all.